I've been avoiding making this video for a while. And that little situation that we have here is the mysterious rise to fame from late and great emo rap star Jumex. Now, although I am an advocate for all of things underground rap, I'm definitely categorized as somebody who has influence or respect Your buddy don't respect the strippers. in the emo rap space if that's what we're calling it these days and with that title you would think that i would know all about underground emo rap stars who are climbing the ladder to success but in this case i have no idea who jumex is and, and there's, there's a, a number, number of reasons, reasons why. why. If you pay attention to underground music, especially underground emo rap, then you know who Jumex is. He's a fucking industry plant, and we all know that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go into detail about how he's an industry plant. It's super obvious. The kid has like 150,000 followers on Instagram with only one song out, and his first post ever got 7,000 likes. He came out of nowhere. He doesn't follow anybody in the underground scene. There's plenty of videos that are online where you can learn about what an industry plan is and why this person's an industry plan. It's, it's just, it, it's there, he is. My opinions on industry plants are kind of contradictory to what you may think. I actually don't really care about industry plans. I think that if you're an absolute nobody, you have very little experience making music and you have absolutely no following, but you can somehow convince a major label to sign you, give you a bunch of money and potentially blow you up, then you should probably go for that. And if you think that you wouldn't take an offer like that, then you're absolutely capping. However, with that being said, I'm gonna have a lot less respect for you. And not necessarily less respect for you, but less respect for your brand and your music. Put some respect on it. You see, another big problem with industry plants and for the sake of this video, Jumex, is it's really hard to tell what is actually authentic about you and what's being controlled by the label. When they have so much control over you and you don't have real fans, don't know fans, don't know fans, then they are the ones calling the shots. They're the ones gonna tell you what to make, what to exaggerate on, where, which direction to go. So which part of this is real artistry? And with the emo rap stuff, it can get really, really corny and really cookie cutter very quickly. And that's exactly what I'm seeing with Jumex. He's doing all of the stereotypical things that an emo rapper would do. Dyeing his hair, getting the super generic and expected face tats, wearing the goth chokers and chains that have just been totally normalized and just everything about his style is so so generically emo like they might even control the way you dress and i feel like this could be a possibility hey hey jumex how you feeling today buddy eh, i'm having a pretty good day i'm pretty happy no that's not it what jumex come on now how are you feeling oh yeah you're sad uh, Okay, that's a little bit better. Now give me something. What? Are you, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm sad. Give me a little line. Give me a little tagline. I'm a sad boy. That's sad much boy. better, buddy. Good job. All right, now all we need is to get this kid a face tat, and then you know we'll spice it up with some chains and some chokers and whatnot. You're doing great, buddy. Break my bones. I mean, I really did try to find out things about Jumex because I wanted him to you know, have a fair shot. But there's nothing but vague information on his Instagram. Twitter's even worse. The only thing he really ever promotes is his music and just post pictures of him wearing outfits that are super high quality photos with really weird captions like, my love is shrinking and tell me beautiful lies. I mean, what's next? All I see is demons. All I see is demons, everybody run. How can you relate to somebody that has literally no information about their life or what they've been through? How can you get behind that? But fuck all that image stuff, it doesn't even matter. It's all about the music at the end of the day. And when it comes to emo music, that stuff has to be authentic. The reason why myself and these hundreds of thousands of millions of fans love emotional music that the underground is supplying is because it's authentic and because they can relate to it and because they've heard the stories in these songs that these underground artists are making and they can relate it to their own lives. The reason why it's so popular is because not all of us can relate to what's popular in the mainstream, which has a lot to do with sleeping with a lot of women, having guns, killing people, 
driving fancy cars, having a lot of money, most of us can't relate to that. But when you take something that seems so genuine and authentic and then you take that and you strip that authenticity from it, oh man, does that end up being the absolute worst music that could ever be produced. I mean, what is worse than a young kid rapping about his problems and his emotions that he's not even really experiencing? That's 100% worse than somebody rapping about driving fast cars when they're not actually doing it. Because at least that stuff is kind of cool and something that we might want to do one day. But nobody wants to be depressed. This trend of glamorizing being sad and depressed is kind of getting old. And if you're thinking to yourself, Patrick, Jumex isn't doing anything differently than all of those artists that you listen to are. Look at this. Really? Sad as fuck? I mean, that t-shirt is absolutely the cringiest and dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. I really hope that they're not selling those. Who wants to be sad as fuck? Who wants to wear that on their chest? Like, what a horrible fucking message to just tell to the world every single day. There's nothing sexy about being depressed. Every artist that I know that's in this underground scene that's making music about being sad or being lonely or whatever it is that they're going through, it's because they're actually going through it. It's because they're experiencing real life emotions and that is coming out in their artistry. And they don't want to be fucking sad, so they're not going to wear a t-shirt that's glamorizing it. So they walk around all day and people are like, yo, that kid's fucking sad. Normal artists just make music about whatever it is that they're being inspired by. And if you don't believe me, we can take a look at a number of artists in this underground scene that are killing it and may be categorized as sad rappers. None of their branding relies on being sad. We got Convolk, we got Shinigami, we got Gucci Highwaters, we got Garden. We got Young Van, maybe even Tommy Ice and Kevin Kazi if you want to categorize them. Hammy, Safe Sin, 916 Frosty, Fantasy Camp, I could go on. The point is, is anybody who's making waves in the underground, meaning developing a real following and getting real fans and having engagement with people that actually fuck with them as an artist, none of them are basing their entire brand about being sad or depressed. None of them are basing their entire brand about being sad or depressed. Why? Because that's fucking whack. Because guess what? Sometimes they feel happy and they'll make happy music. Or sometimes they want to flex and they'll make a little flex track. But as we all know, these guys struggle with something, whether it's heartbreak, depression, anxiety, whatever it is. And that's what stands out the most from their music. Now you might have another counter argument and that's Patrick, he only has two songs out. How can you jump to conclusions? We don't fucking know anything about this kid. So how are we supposed to buy into the brand when we don't know anything about the artist. So all we have to do is assume. That's all we can do. So that's what I'm doing here, I'm assuming. Has this kid gone through some shit? Possibly. But nobody knows him, no artists know him, no community knows him. He's just kind of like a mysterious figure that popped up out of nowhere. So what am I supposed to think? The couple songs that he does have out kind of blew up. I mean, it's not like he's doing better than other artists just because he has a big Instagram page, but there's dudes in this underground scene that have been working hard hundreds of thousands of views millions of views on songs that they've made in their bedrooms and spent hours and hours of their life on social media trying to network with other people building a community building a real following who make way better music than the two songs that are out and they get no recognition but again that's just the way of the industry that's how it goes they got money Money talks. But I do want to say, if you are a fan of Jumex and you're watching this video, if you made it this far and you don't absolutely hate me by now and have commented, you don't know what you're talking about. There's a giant community based around this whole type of music and I must say, do a little bit of research. Whether that's looking on my channel or just kind of browsing through social media. See what else is out there because there's a lot of guys who have been putting in work for years, really years, making the music that Jumex and this industry is stealing from them. I don't really have any gripes with Jumex because I don't think he really realizes what he got into. So I don't want you guys to be commenting like, fuck Jumex or he's just this or blah, 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 because maybe he's not that bad of a guy. I don't know him. You don't know him. Nobody really knows him. I'm just kind of mad at the industry for kind of taking the best parts of every individual artist from the underground that we love, mashing them all up into one guy and just kind of pushing it. 
Seems kind of silly to me. Seems kind of just whack in general. All I'm saying is do your homework. If you like the music, if you like the sound that he's going for, take a look at this underground scene that we are currently creating. You'll probably find something that you really love. Jumex, I wish you the best. Guess this is just part of the struggle of being in the underground.